In today's episode, I'm opening up a package from Tumi. So if you're interested in seeing what's in this package, you know what to do. Stick around. Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me, decorating on a budget. Now, as I said earlier, I received this package from Tumi. I don't know, I always want to say that name wrong. I, want to, I always only want to say Tumu, but it's Timu. <laughs> Timu. I'm going to get it right. I am. I promise. Well, I order a little bit at a time because, you know, with Timu, you can't over order. You can't keep pushing that button because their prices. And you keep signing stuff that you might need, you think you need, <coughs> and stuff you want. <laughs> My husband always asks me, is it a need or is it a want? And sometimes it's a want. I have to admit that. Sometimes it's a want. It's not a need. So I opened up, cut the package open. So the first thing I got is this. I ordered one of these to organize my flatware in the drawer. I'm trying to minimize space and use it correctly, basically. So I have this for my flatware. Now, as you notice, I did order one. Um, my last order had one for the knives. And I did order another one, but I think they said they were out of stock of the knife one. So I'll have to wait for it to come. The next thing I ordered seems to be open hmm. and I think it's missing a piece I ordered this and this is to put uh, to go under clean under your sofas under your refrigerator under your stove where you don't have to break break yourself trying to do it and it comes with this long piece and it has a little shorter one too so I'll put a picture up here on the screen to show you what it looks like but I'm kind of thinking I'm missing a piece because this was laying on the ground outside by the package. So I think it came out the package because this is supposed to go have a handle on the end. So I might have to contact them and let them know that all of it didn't make it to me. Cause I, oh, here it is right here. But I still think it's missing a piece. Cause I thought it was supposed to be longer. And I still do, but we'll see. All right, the next thing I'm opening up, <coughs> excuse the cough and the rattling. Well, I got this lunch bag here because my husband was supposed to be taking his lunch to work. And after I'd already ordered it, he told me, never mind, but I'd already ordered it. So it'll be here for him. I like, I got it because it was a denim and it'd be a nice space for him to have his drinks, his lunch and everything in it. Just a, a lunch bag and up here for napkins and things up here. Okay, the next thing I ordered, you know, you'd be like a kid in the candy, a candy store because you open it up packages and you know what you ordered, you think you remember. Sometimes you don't. All right, then I order this here. Now what this is, is these small canisters. Let me open up one of them and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to do, get things to, for the guest bathroom. Now I ordered these little canisters. There's three of them. And they're for cotton balls, Q-tips, things like that to put on the counter upstairs in the bathroom. So when I saw these, I didn't want to wait cause I'm, you know, I'm trying to get the house together and I've been doing one room at a time, but I saw these and the price and your girl couldn't resist. I went ahead and picked them up even though I'm in the laundry room and I'm still downstairs, but hey, I couldn't pass it up. Now this is a disappointment. It's a disappointment in two ways. One, because I did not read the size. That's my fault. I did not read the measurements. 
I just looked at the picture and that's this. Now I assumed that it was going to be double this size in length and width or I could put it on my coffee table where I could take the, the little teal X's and paint them silver or gold and have this on my coffee table. But this is my era. But I'm going to fix it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to pull out of here, oh, I got this here, I didn't excuse the rattling, now I got this for the window seals, because if you hadn't seen the window seals here, when you open up the windows here in this house, we've been here five, maybe six months, and I'm going to say less than that, because this is April. I want to say we've been here really four months because um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, girl had to throw the stuff together and not actually put it where I wanted, but put it in a place. And now I'm able to see things that I didn't see before. And like when I raised the windows up because I wanted to let some fresh spring air in, oh my God, it's so nasty. So. This is going to be a project for me. I'm going to go, uh, after I finish the laundry room and the garage, then my next project will be to clean all the window sills and paint the, um, what's it called? The window sill? Yeah. I'm going to paint the window sill and clean where the windows meet. So that'll be a thing. I'm going to clean it. And then once I clean them, then I'll go back and paint them. Because they are not the same color as the um, the baseboards. They are a little yellowish to me. And I want them to be white and crisp like the doors. So, that's why I got this. The next thing I got. Well, I bought two of them. In case one broke down. Because I'm telling you, when I say it's dirty, I'm not exaggerating. Oh, the box. I just smushed the box open. Let me get the rest out the bottom. Let me go to something else. Here's another box. <coughs> I didn't know about two of these. Here's another canister set for the cotton balls and things. So I guess I did get one for the master bedroom and one for the guests. But I could have sworn I only bought one. And here's a box. Let me get my scissors. What I do with my scissors? I try not to lay the scissors on these sofas because, of course, they're leather. And I do not want any holes in them. I try not to have ink pens or anything sharp because I don't want to get a hole in my leather sofas. Okay. Now, one thing I forgot to do, and my husband and I went to, we went to Lowe's first, because it's not too far from here, and we were looking for the wood to do the countertop in the lot in the laundry room. We found the wood we wanted, but they didn't have anybody to cut the wood. They said the machine was broken. So I told them, why get little things here, and then I need the wood, let's just go to Home Depot, that's in the other direction. So it is a little farther. So we went to Home Depot and I didn't film it, okay? That's all on me because I wasn't thinking. I didn't think about it until we were in the car leaving with the wood. We um, got the wood cut to put up the counter in the, back, in the laundry room and I'm really happy about that. So that's my process of the uh, laundry room is coming along really well. Now, I ordered this case here. Now, it says it's for cords. Like when you put your power cords in, in your storage, you know. But I think I might use this. I might use this for tea. I'm not sure. But I did buy it for the cords. <coughs> Excuse me. But I didn't have that many cords in this drawer when I cleaned them out as I thought I did. So... That might be used for 
a whole another thing. Okay. Let's see what else is off in this bag. Okay. Now, as you know, I've been my husband and my my husband and my father say I'm looking at too much. I don't think I am. But I looked around at some of the on the molding where they put the caulk at. And and basically around the stair spinnels. Now I'm gonna show you a picture of how they look. Now the previous owner they put too much caulk around the spinnels at the bottom, and it irks me. So what I did was I ordered this tool here. Maybe if I take out the plastic, you can see it better. Well, Stephanie, I think so. Come on, bag. I ordered this tool, and this tool here removes the caulk. So I was like, yes, that's what I need. I needed to remove that ugly caulk so I can do it the right way. And it has different sizes and, you know, covers to put on the ends or whatever. But I got this to remove the ugly caulk from around the spinnels on the stairs. And then I can refill it the correct way and then seal it to paint because I am going to strip the paint that they on the stair, stair rails, they have the handle and the part at the bottom. Well, the part at the bottom, it was wood, the same color wood as the handle, the rail. Well, they painted this white. I don't want it white. So I'm stripping that off, and then I'm going to clean it with all the proper stuff. You know, I didn't know it took so much to clean strip paint. I thought you just put it on there, strip it off, get it off, wipe it down with some good soap and water, let it dry, and then come back. I didn't know you had to do all this other stuff. But anyway, I'm going to strip it, get that paint off, and then do everything it tells me to do to clean the strip off and to wipe it down, let it dry for a day or two, like the paper says, and then come back and do a light sand on it. And then I am going to stain the sterile and the base the same color as the front door. And the front door is the darker shade to match the flooring. So all of them will be the same. The door and the stair rails will be matching. And they will be also one of the colors that's in the floor. So your girl has a plan. Okay, what is this? Okay, you see this? I don't remember what I ordered. So now I've got to open it up and see what this is. What is this? What did I order? Okay. <laughs> okay. I have frames. So what I did was I saw these canvas paintings here. And there's one. Here's one. And here's another one. Now these are going into the breakfast area. So they'll, uh, they'll fit in the wall in there because it's not that much space on the wall but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in a, a 8 by 10 frame with the um, oh what you call it around it <coughs> oh I you know when you get on here and you get to talking and your mind goes blank and you can't remember your ABC's mat when you put the I want to get the white mat to put in a frame and put these in there and put these in the breakfast area.
because after I finish the laundry room and finish the garage, which I have to get the garage finished before it gets too hot. So I'm gonna get the garage done, put my artwork back in, and make it a little tighter. After I finish the laundry room, I'm going to the garage. And then after the garage, my next thing is to do a quick makeover here in the breakfast area behind me. And then once I finish the breakfast area, I'm going to the patio. Because I have, I have things I've ordered to go out there. I think two of them are here. But I still have some other things I want to get to go out there as far as decor is concerned. My husband is not for the decor things, but I'm trying to make it where the decor is somewhat in between both masculine and feminine, but we both like it. So that's my goal out there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to the doctor next week for this cough. opening this and make me remember um i saw a thing on instagram and this lady was singing i thought it said two bushels but that is me not reading all the way i guess because i thought it said two in each pack that's my fault i'm gonna make it work but anyway i heard this lady on instagram sing this song and it's been stuck in my head all day and when i went to um when I called to talk to the people at the facility where my mom is about her room place because they haven't moved her yet like they were supposed to do three days ago. And so I called them and the woman tried to give me the okie doke. But I reminded her what she told me and when she was supposed to be moved and what I'm expecting. Because when it comes to Cora, I don't, I don't play, I'm not playing games with you. You're not going to mistreat my mom, period. So the reason why I said that, because the song came to my mind, and the girl said, people get on my nerve sometime. And I remember that song when she, when she was singing it on Instagram, and I thought it was funny, but it stuck with me. But anyway, back on subject. Uh, I ordered this, and I could have sworn it said two in a pack. I could have sworn it's what it said. But I'm about to go back and look. I thought it said two in a pack. Now, what it is, is these little faux flowers. Now, I was getting them to put in the breakfast area, because I'm redoing some things. And it comes in a pack at all so much like this. And you have to, you know, spread it out, get it to how you want it to look. But I could have sworn it said two in a pack. And so I was ordering two, well, really four, so I could put them in there. And see, it looks better with four, with two together, than it does just one. And it would do what I needed to do. But my error, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to use them. But it's not going to be just these. It's going to be one of these in each one, and I'm going to add something else to it. That's for me not reading correctly. Now, the next thing, what else is off in here? I get everything off the sack. Is that everything? I still feel like there's something in here. Okay, that's everything. Ah, uh, and then I would knock it down, wouldn't I? Okay, the next thing I got was for my washing machine. I have some here somewhere, but I think they're still out in the garage. That's why I said I need to clean out the garage. I got these little pellets here. They're supposed to help uh, keep your washing machine clean. And I needed to put these in there and, and run a cycle in my washer. I have some out in the garage somewhere. 
That's all I can say is somewhere. I know they're out there somewhere. Uh, but I saw these on there and I went ahead and ordered my, my husband ordered me a pack before. And that's why I know they're out there in the garage. Now the next thing I got was, well the last thing, is that it? Yeah. The last thing that I purchased from Timu, I'm going to be fixing the crown molding and stuff, the caulking, because some of them are, are gap where they didn't do them right, and when I get ready to do the stairs, and I want to make sure I did it properly. So I saw these little things on Timu, these little green things. And what they have is a little hole in the tip. You put this on your caulk gun when you cut it, and this way your molding comes out, your caulk comes out the way you want it on the molding. And it also has this little tip here, so it'll help smooth it out for you. So, two in one, it comes with three different sizes. And I saw these and I thought these would be great for me. So when I start doing it, because I want to fix the stair molding, and I saw some of the crown molding, like in the half bath, it needs it. And in the formal dining room, it needs it too. Then I've noticed some places here and there that need it on the lower baseboards. <coughs> so that is everything I purchased from Timu this time. Yeah, that's everything. So I didn't get a lot, but I did get what I needed. I'm trying to stay in the realm of only purchase things I need and only purchase things that I need for their certain project at that time. Because, you know, when you see something like Timu and all the prices and all the little gadgets and things they have on there, you will keep putting stuff in your basket, putting in, filling in, filling in, filling in. And I'm trying not to do that yet. <laughs> yeah, I said yet. Because I want to finish my projects. I want to finish like I have the laundry room that I'm doing. And then when I finish that, like I said, I'm going to the garage. And then once I finish the garage, I am going to do the breakfast area. And then once I finish the breakfast area, I'm going out back. And I'm doing the patio, getting it washed down, clean it down. See the set up and ready for them to come and put the netting up. My husband said he found someone, but I don't know if he's talked to him already or not. So they could put the molding up. But I just want to make sure it's clean. The walls and everything is set in the right spots. And set up for when we do start hosting. Because I believe we're going to do July 4th here. I'm not sure. But... I want to make sure that all that's done. We looked at flowers today at Lowe's. And we saw a lot of flowers that we're going to get to replace the ones from the freeze uh, in the front. And especially in the back. Because uh, the ivory did not make it through the freeze. Even though we did cover it up, like I said, it didn't make it. And it's a couple of other plants that did not make it. So we want to make sure the back... Is done as well as the front yard with the flowers and put them back where they were because I like the way the yard was kept up also um, I saw showed my husband some um, what is it the st. Augustine grass I want to get a couple of those squares and go around the, the walkway and the uh, flower beds there where there's the grass is not there and make sure you know have it there so the grass can grow out there so it's a couple of things that are coming i have a few projects to do but i want to thank you for coming along with me on this uh, uh i want to thank you for watching me as i i want to thank you for coming along with me while i showed you this haul I want to thank you for coming along with me as I share at the haul that I got today in the mail from Tume. Nope. Tumu. I'm going to get the name right. Tumu. <laughs> so, I didn't get them much, like I said, but I do have things in my basket that will be coming soon. So, if you want to see what else comes up in this. So, if you want to see the, everything I'm doing here at my home. 
you know what to do. Just keep watching the channel and subscribe. And you'll see how I'm changing each room one by one. Now, I will see you in the next episode. Bye. If you want to see more, click the video here or the link below and you'll be blessed.